Hello, this is BGA, and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing this channel uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, I've been a fan of the YouTube community for a long time, um, especially how to videos, etc. And uh, a few months ago, a friend of mine said, You know, you really know a lot about the luxury market um, and uh, technology, etc. So, why don't you uh, start a YouTube channel and share? Um, and share some of that information. So I uh, figured why not. I'll g give it a try. Um, just a brief history about me. Um, I uh, After high school um, was in the lead paint inspection business. Um, I would use x-ray technology uh, to detect levels of lead paint. Um, in, in mostly urban inner city homes. Um, and then I got into uh, thermal ins inspections, thermograms, energy audits. If you want to learn more about that, just Google thermal imaging, thermograms. Um, and what that, that basically was, was a uh, energy picture of your home. It showed all of the temperatures. Um, in an image, um, so you could see leaks, you could see uh, you could see air leaks, water leaks, electrical faults, etc. Um, if you're a homeowner, I highly recommend getting a thermal home in inspection. It can save you a lot of money um, on your energy bills just by adding a little bit of insulation. The the camera picks up where contractors cut corners. If you're buying a new home, um, you can uh, take a, a thermal imaging specialist w with you and um, make sure that, that the house is wired properly um, and is uh, insulated properly. Things that a traditional home inspector cannot e easily do. Uh, I can also check for roof leaks, etc. So anyway, I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, that same technology uh, is used in the medical field. Um, I was involved with uh, a push to um, have have it supplement mammograms. Uh, <clears throat> Between a traditional mammogram and a, a thermogram, um, the, the odds of detecting early breast cancer are greatly uh, increased. Um, based, uh, to explain how, how that works, when a tumor is growing, it requires more blood flow to it. Um, and the, the technical term is neoangiogenesis. Um, and what we can do is take a bilateral view um, of the body and compare symmetry. And if there's increased temperatures in one specific area, uh, that we know that it's something that, that we have to further investigate. So I did that for a while, um, traditional Medical insurance does not cover it as of right now. Um, there was a primitive version of that technology in the 1980s, and it was actually uh, car insurance, um, I'm sorry, medical malpractice um, lawyers fought to have the technology um, disproven. Um, so they set up a lot of tests that really did not use good protocols, etc. cetera. Uh, because, and the reason they didn't like this technology is because it, it, it can actually show pain. So it can, you know, prove that a, a car accident um, survivor is in pain. And in the courtroom, um, the defense attorneys, et cetera, did not like that, the insurance companies. So they fought heavily against it. Um, I eventually sold uh, those businesses. Um, at that time, 
uh, a friend of my cousin's uh, who owns a very large chain of car dealerships needed some help um, so I went on board and um, and as a sales manager I sold Lexus Porsche Audi um, as well as pre-owned vehicles uh, we, we had a um, about we had over 20 lo locations um, and I did that for about two years um, until the economy <laughs> collapsed, let's be honest. Um, at that point, I, I really did some soul searching and uh, realized that my, my calling, that I loved working with people and I wanted to enter the medical field. Um, and I realized that my calling was to go into psychology. So uh, I went back to school, completed my undergraduate degree, um, and I'm currently working on my doctorate, uh, my, a PsyD, not a PhD. Uh, for those of you who are curious about the difference, they're both doctorates. A PsyD is more clinically oriented, a PhD is more research oriented. So if you want to work in a lab, it's better to go for a PhD if you want to um, work in a clinical setting. I'd recommend the, the PsyD. Um, anyway, whole another story. If you're interested in me talking more about that, uh, just post a comment, send me a message, and I'll be glad to do another video. Um, but that's that's currently where I am. Um, I'm, I'm in Ch Chicago, uh, Illinois. I'm originally from the suburbs of Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I love Chicago. It's an amazing town. Uh, I think regardless of where uh, I end up um, living for the majority of my time, I would like to have an office here and, and at least be able to see patients here um, a few times a month. Uh, as far as the type of videos that I plan on doing, I really am looking for you to uh, make suggestions, um, I, I, you know, I'm really into luxury goods, fountain pens, watches, um, high-end electronics, boats. Uh, I have my private pilot's license. I'm a instrument private pilot certificate. Um, I'm a instrument rated pilot. Uh, I can fly multi-engine aircrafts. Um, plan to someday have one to uh, but for right now I rent aircrafts occasionally um, just just for for fun um, so I'm into boats uh, had a Viking double cabin uh, 1985 double cabin I had a Mako fishing boat um, that was a 23 footer just a fun little center console so uh, and I have a lot of friends who still have boats, who who, who own airplanes. Um, so I figured, I you know, I do some fun videos uh, as you know requests come in, as as opportunities arise. Maybe some, um, you know, I love fine food, wine, cigars. Um, so it, pretty much whatever sort of ideas you have, just send me a quick note or post a comment um, and I'll see what I can do. Um, so that's pretty much my introduction. Uh, kind of want this to be a really fun sort of lifestyles of the rich and famous meets a technology magazine, you know, a, a technology type of show um, meets Rob Report magazine style um, and uh, we can we can talk about um, grooming products, upscale men's grooming products. Uh, so basically, just uh, put some ideas out there, and I will see what I can do. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoy this channel. I also do want to um, talk about psychology and my feelings about. Um, about certain psychotropic medications. Um, I do plan on getting my master's in 
psychopharmacology after I complete my doctorate, so I will be able to prescribe as of right now in a few states, hopefully by that point uh, it will be national. Um, so there are, right now if you're interested in that, um, if you're interested in learning about psycho any sort of medication related to psychiatric illness, um, I highly recommend uh, the YouTube user Doctor of Mind MD. Um, his, his name is Mark Viner. He's a very well-known and re renowned psychiatrist in based out of Arizona, but he, he travels all over and he has he has YouTube videos. He, he's he's an eccentric character. I hope to one day meet him. Um, but he has videos on everything from Valium to Thorazine, et cetera, on YouTube, and he presents the information in a really fun way. So, uh, you know, keep in mind he is an eccentric character, but a, a great resource. I've learned a lot from watching his videos. Um, so that's psychology. That's one of my that's my main passion and career. But I also believe work hard play hard. So I am very interested in photography, uh, like everything from darkroom film photography to digital photography. Um, I, I currently do own a, a, a uh, more of a fashion um, oriented uh, photography business that I have somebody running for me. Um, we, we, we do shoots for hair coloring companies, um, um, a few clothing designers, mostly boutique, uh, small scale work, although some of our hair coloring clients are quite large. Um, there's a, if anyone's interested in seeing a fashion shoot that, that I've done, um, send me a message and I, and I do have one of those videos, not under my username, but under another um, person who was involved in, in the shoot who posted it on to YouTube. So uh, I, I can send you that information um, as, as well. Uh, fountain pens, huge, huge passion of mine, um, especially right now. It seems to be my main focus. I do a lot of writing. I do a lot of reading. Um, and it sort of makes it a little bit more fun. You know, I, I choose a different pen to use every day. Um, you know, I, I can find some nice antique pens. There's pen shows, there's neat forums. Um, I'll go into the reasons why I prefer using a fountain pen to a ballpoint and a roller ball in my next video, which will be about fountain pens. So that would be the, for the video to start this all off. Um, I'm very open to constructive criticism, so please, you know, feel free to leave any uh, su suggestions or recommendations uh, if you think there's something, you know, I should have done differently, etc. Uh, please let me know, um, and I hope this is a lot of fun. So, uh, cheers, and I will see you all soon. Thanks. Hello, this is BGA, and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing this channel uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, I've been a fan of the YouTube community for a long time, um, especially how-to videos, etc. And uh, a few months ago, a friend of mine said, you know, you really know a lot about the luxury market um, and uh, technology, etc. So why don't you uh, start a YouTube channel and share um, and share some of that information? So uh, figured, why not? I'll give it a try. Um, just a brief history about me. Um, I. Uh, after high school, I um, was in the lead paint inspection business. Um, I would use x-ray technology uh, 
to detect levels of lead paint um, in, in mostly urban inner city homes. Um, and then I got into uh, thermal ins inspections, thermograms, energy audits. If you want to learn more about that, just Google thermal imaging, thermograms. Um, and what that, that basically was, was a uh, energy picture of your home. It showed all of the temperatures um, in an image. Um, so you could see leaks, you could see uh, you could see air leaks, water leaks, electrical faults, etc. Um, if you're a homeowner, I highly recommend getting a thermal home in inspection. It can save you a lot.